sounds. Sounds I'm playing Crash Bandicoot sounds. Do you like it? Do you fucking see anything or is it a fucking black screen sound? Ah, it is working. Oh, all right. It's it. Oh, days got all fucked up. He's all. Wait a minute. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, here we are with a Crash Bandicoot theory. God, I hate Elgato, dude. It's so shit. And it's all I have. You know, in, in some ways it's really streamlined, but in other ways it's just completely dog shit. And maybe I need to update it or something. But uh, every time... I go from playing a PS1 game on the PS3 to, to the PS3 menu, the thing breaks. And it doesn't unbreak until I close the software, which takes a while to close. It also takes a while to return on. There's a lot of bullshit. I, I don't like it. I am playing a video game. This is like my ultimate casual experience game, just sort of sitting back and not really thinking about anything. Does Twitch frown on emulation? Because I would just use that instead of fucking with capture cards. Twitch doesn't frown on emulation, but I... It doesn't work very well. Um, I mean, alright. For one thing, um, I prefer sitting in front of my TV and playing a game than sitting in front of my computer and playing a game. In every opportunity I can, I, I would like to, to use my TV more. Um, also, my computer is not very strong, so it might chug if it was trying to to both stream and, you know, make a game run. I mean, you've seen my Dark Cloud, Dark Souls things. They, they you know, they're on my computer, and they're not that it's fast, really. I mean, maybe. Maybe I could do a capture card, uh, I mean, an emulator. But also, fucking PlayStation emulators, any emulator, it's, a, it's confusing and annoying, and I don't like it. It's, the, it's just one of those things, you know? Everybody, you know, I can figure it out if I sit down and, and, and work at it for a moment. Oh. But it's, uh, I'd rather just turn on the, my video game that I own, you know? I mean, if there's a way that I could emulate it on my PC, have it route onto my TV, and then play with my, my, uh, with a, with like a, a, a USB PlayStation 2 controller, or a PlayStation 1 controller, or whatever, Maybe even PlayStation 4 control, I don't know. You plug that into the PC, and, uh, you know, I, I'm sitting in front of my TV as if it was a, a, a console. And then stream that, maybe? But, you know, for what it's worth, capture card software is very handy. Um, because emulation is largely difficult and annoying. Anything beyond PlayStation 1 is like basically impossible and I have no idea how anybody even thinks about doing that. I've tried a PS2 emulation. Uh, it took like two months, not two months, it just took a long time to get running and then it ran like shit. So, and I still have basically the same computer as then, so 
nothing will really work. You know, that's my argument for that. Oh, so what are you guys doing? Watching the stream? I think people who have already mentioned whether they've liked the, the demon blood, the demon souls review. The Dark Souls review is coming out this Friday, if, in case you're interested. Honestly, I don't think that one's quite as interesting, because everyone fucking knows Dark Souls. There's not really much I could say that would be interesting. So I did a dumb thing. I did a dumb little skit that will hopefully distract people from that fact. Man, I love Crash Bandicoot. I don't actually own Crash One on Two, uh, One and Two. I should probably get them for for things for. Whoa! Shoot those mines! My internet provider cucked themselves. Now I have no TV, telephone, or internet. Wait, your telephone provider? internet provider cucked themselves? Why, did they get bought out by another company? Did they fucking die? That's unfortunate that you have none of that. Wait a minute. How are you watching my stream if you have none of that? That doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm remembering a game called Pandemonium. This is a this is a thing. Uh, some of you may know I've mentioned it before that I used to go to a youth club at, uh, and that's where a lot of my my youth memories were formed. Playing uh, playing uh, certain games. Oh shit! I didn't know that was on screen. Um, but uh, they had Crash Bandicoot 3. They had Mickey's Wild Adventure. They had Mario Kart something on GameCube. Uh, no, no, they had Diddy's Kong Racing, they had Rayman 2, Great Escape on, on Game... Uh, not GameCube, what am I talking about? Uh, N64. But they had this game at one point on PS PlayStation th uh, 1 called Pandemonium. And the intro cutscene is burned into my mind. Um, I don't really know why, I just remember it very vividly. At least one part of it where there's this bad guy and he makes this big monster appear, or this monster appears, or whatever. And the monster says, I am Rub Rub. You know, I don't remember what he says, but I remember the way he says it. I am Rub Rub. And then, he's like, he looks like he's just a small guy, but then the camera, it, it turns out, he's actually a giant behemoth, and he's in the background, and he goes and eats a town that's underneath him. Like, you would, you would have thought, like, he's just hanging out near the window. But no, he's actually all the way over there, in the distance. And he says, I am Raro, and he eats a town. And then you have to go and, and, and save the world or whatever. And you're a jester, and or someone else. What a weird fucking game. I want to get that. I want to get that and play it and talk about how weird it is. Because it's probably weird. I think fucking, um, what is his name? Mike from Cine Massacre talked about it in a in a thing. And it reminded me that it exists, and just now playing this game reminds me of all the games that I played at that time. That youthful time. Youth is cool. You know, aside from the fact that you can't do anything. Shit. You 
you commented on my stream on your phone hotspot? Isn't that expensive? Why, why? I mean, th uh, I'm flattered that you would use your phone stuff to watch a stream of mine. But that can't be un inexpensive. That's, that's bad. That's bad news. Ah, uh, fuck you, big boy. Big baby boy. <laughs> Can't think of a game that's done this. You know, like with the camera facing away from the stuff coming up ahead. What other games have ever done this? I think every 3D game after the PS2 era had to be like the same sort of camera, or or like a two and a half D side scroller in 3D. Nobody does forward backward shit. Nobody. The only forward backward shit is like a racing game where you're going forward. get the thingy I'll probably beat the boss of this and then end the stream I mean I shouldn't really have continued on after beating Rayman 2 that was just pr a nice ending despite being kind of short like an hour You dare make something that is an hour long in this day and age? Who raised you? A barn? Were you raised by a barn, you motherfucker? Ooh. Alright, that's how you do it. Alright, I got it. Okay. Um, hmm, I guess not. I could kill myself, I guess. That's one of the things you can do. Yeah, I, I'm not r trying to beat the game. I have a hypocrite law question for you. What is your name in canon? Hmm. Me, the human being. My name in canon. It's interesting because I don't know whether it should be different from my real name or not. And whether that even is a thing that can ha even have a canon. Like if I were to say, oh, my real name in the lore is different from something. I guess, let's say my real canon name is Give and Take, because Give and Take is my channel, and then Hippocrit is is the collaborative effort of Hippo and Give and Take. That makes sense. So when people say Gib, that's my real name. It's like the doctor. The doctor's got a real name, guys, and it's really important. I guess, I guess, uh, I guess he's like, he's. It's really important that nobody hears his name for fucking who knows why, and you'll never fucking know because they never say it. Oh, I didn't move. I got my my thumb fell off the stick, and I couldn't really put it back.
thumb's slipping off again. Whoa. Whoa, not really enough boxes. Greetings, Morsego Kinsetto. Is a Sinzetto? That's an elaborate name. I can't speak it. What am I? A word speaker? I have played the beginning of this game quite a lot. It's so familiar to me. I guess it's just sort of like something I put on in the background. Like, oh yeah, it's like putting on an old ge episode of Game Grumps that was like reminds you of the time when you played Game Grumps. Oh yeah, and in, in Rayman 2, there's like there's similar things. There's like bombs in the water, and you're sort of skiing across them. But this is a jet ski. There's the Bayou in Rayman 2. They had the, the, the bombs with the skulls on them, and they were floating. Lol, it's all the same game. Got it. This reminds me, my brother is making a little frog racing game for fun. Not for fun, he's, he's making it. Well, he, I mean, he, he obviously has fun doing it, but like... He's not making it frivolously, is my, I, is my point. Like, if he works at it, it could be a real thing. Which is the best mindset to have whenever you're making anything. I guess. I guess I could make it a real thing. But yeah. I'm gonna talk about my plans. This, this is the secret my plan section of my stream that I've never... This is a secret section. Every time I have a plan, I can go to my stream because I know nobody really watches it. And then it won't get out to, to many people. It'll be a secret. Alright, so here's the thing. I am... Uh, going... to make... Wait, I don't have a secret. I don't have any secrets. Everything is real. Everything I've said exists. I mean, I already mentioned it in the, the Rayman 2 part of the stream, but I'm doing... I'm gonna do July Mia Mafava. July will do a lot of videos. Ah, uh, crash! Uh, you, you bastard! And I'm, I've written down like a bunch of t topics I could do, but I feel like it's gonna be too much for me. I feel like I'm gonna fail, probably. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and do as many as I can in June. I'm gonna try and do July Mia Mafava in June. To my to the best of my powers. It's tiny. Oh god. Huh. God fucking lions. Not good. Alright, this is crunch time. Oh bitch. I don't like that they're all th happy than when one of them gets gets me, you know? It doesn't make any sense. Why are they happy now? They should be mad that the other guy got it. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't work. The thing about this boss is that It seems so easy, but those lions, there's like no time to prepare. Because when you're in the air like that, you can't move around much. So if you've jumped and you're jumping into the path of a lion, you can't jump out of it. You're just dead. So there's a lot of random chance involved in like... I guess jumping is a bad idea, but you sometimes have to jump. Now, this is the one. 
I mean, it's always obvious, obviously, this is the one, but like, uh, uh, you see? Maybe I should just never jump. If I never jump, maybe. Oh boy. I've never liked this boss. All the other bosses are alright. This one just feels an annoying. Because how, how do you tell? How do you tell where these lines are coming from? Shit. I was trying to bounce on the line to jump over the fucking god damn it. Uh, this game sucks. It's not good, bad game, shitty game. Look, look, did you just. Ah, oh, god damn it. I could not have gotten away from that. Maybe I can attack the lines? I don't know. I've never tried that. I don't think it works. I did basically the same thing I did before. I nearly jumped into one. I just did, uh, yeah, whatever. Fuck you, charge body slam. I don't give a fuck about your penis. And you're shaking it around like you. You think hey, I'm like, oh, and then you're gone. You're dead. More like brash cuntidoot. Oh, have I? Well, how about you? Get on my face, you masked devil. Right, for World 1 sucks. But World 2, that's when things are alright. I forget what this... Oh! Oh, actually, this one's alright. I think. No, I will be unreasonable to the nth degree. Why, I will keep being unreasonable until I kill you. Alright. This game is like, it's like so easy. You just like drive and then you like win, dude. It's like not even difficult. Like you're supposed to do that. Uh, uh, yeah. Here I am in third place. Oh, watch this strat. Round the back of the car. That's what they do in the old western movies. Watch this. Oh, don't watch this. Shit. Okay, I did it. Almost lost. I think the hardest thing about that level is that sometimes it's such a short race that if you fuck up, there's no real chance that you can make up the distance. But, uh, you know, it's also not that difficult. Hang him high. Punky wing. <laughs> Alright, I need to, um... I put up the PCP for next week, or this coming week, or, you know, the end of this week, whatever. 
Next one was already recorded. We record them one week ahead of time, and I edited this one, and it's up. I just need to give it the info. I have the Dark Souls video coming out on Friday. I... Oh. Oh, yeah. We got the Dark Souls video coming out Friday on Give and Take. We got... We got a Vriska coming out on Saturday. I think that's when those come out. I want to make another one tomorrow. Oops. That was probably important. Probably important to have that. Oh shit, I see that in the fucking distance. Drawing your wife as if it's Riska, I got the I got the guitar hole to begin. Like I made the pilot, people gave suggestions, now I'm gonna learn a guitar song. Make a video about that. Oops. You know, stuff and things. I'm just I'm just talking out loud, I'm not really explaining anything. I'm just saying it out loud to myself so that I know what I'm doing. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the give and take series is I think I get mad at games too much. Like, every time I die a lot, I'm like, I'm trying to think of why that was bad game design, but, you know. I know it's not a lot of the time. I know it's just annoying. And I say, well, they could have made it so that it wouldn't be annoying, but, uh... Like this bit, for example. I didn't mean to do a somersault slam, but, uh... That was like, I remember when I played this game before, in a Let's Play with my brothers, I complained about those wizards and how annoying and bullshit it was, but I just did it. So, like, is it bullshit or not? Or, or not? Is it just me? Yes, it was just me. I mean, there are things that are just, like, annoying to a, to a degree where it's obvious to everyone that it's annoying. Um, but you know, things like, oh, a wizard placement was bad, is like, that's just, you can get good at that. You know, it's not bad. I love those bounces. Alright, watch this strategic. Oh, bad shit. Oh, you returned. How do I get that? Oh, I know how to get that. Oh, no, I don't. What I'm thinking is you... Hang on. I don't think about that. I went through all these... Oh. Now all the boxes are giving me nothing, because I didn't bounce on them at the right time. Right, so I hit that and those appear, but if I jump on that, maybe I need a running jump. Alright, that's not... That's not it. Hmm. How do you... How do you get that? How do you get it? Huh? What do you do? I remember a way to get it, actually. Let's see if that works. Damn it, I didn't want to go forwards. Alright, let's 
see if this works. Come on. Yeah, it's not gonna hit. It's not gonna. Oh, yes, that's just not gonna work. Yeah, how do you fucking get that one? I don't think I've ever gotten it. Maybe I did once. I don't know. Yeah. Bandy goy. Forgot how awesome the music in these games was. Yeah, dude. Crash Bandicoot 3 in particular is fucking amazing. Muzzix. I can't remember 2 and 1 because I don't think I played them that much. Yeah, the bonus level doing it again is like... It's a weird thing because like a bonus level is like an... Like, usually it's like you try it once and then that's it. But these just give you the opportunity to just go over them over and over again. To get it perfect. Which makes it so comforting. Because sometimes bonus levels are like, oh my god, I, this, this, there's only like five seconds to get all this fucking shit, and I really gotta get it. I, I need it for the main game. And then it makes bonus levels fucking terrifying and, and stressful. And these bonus levels, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll just casually get them. Casually get those things. Oh, I guess I can't get all of them. Well, at least I can die. At least I can get most of them. And that's usually what happens. You don't lose lives either. This is like perfect. Sideways snake. I'm trying to think of like a new game to play on uh, on stream. Like recently, it's just been Souls games because I was like, it's you know Dark Demon Blood month, and I, I love Souls games. I love Dark Demon Blood. Um, but you know, people get tired of those, and I'm thinking, okay, what's a good console game that's not Dark Souls? that I can get into for playing on stream, and I'm like, oh, I could play Rayman 3, and I'm like, eh, I don't really wanna, for some reason. For some reason, I just don't wanna. Harry Potter? Eh. I'm not sure what to get into, you know? Now that I'm done with uh, Rayman 2 now, it's like I'm not even sure what to do there. Really. Oh, dear. Super monkey bonus, super monkey ball bonus levels are the most stressful things in the whole game. I've never tried super monkey ball. All I know is that I saw it in a magazine when I was a kid and I thought that looks gay. Right, let's do that. Let's do the right thing. That that doesn't that's not the right thing. Oh, wait, I can't yeah. You need a special high jump for that shite. There's something about the promotional image of the super monkey in the ball. Where his ears were like as big as his whole head. On either side of his head. And they would look gross. And I was like, no thanks. I'd prefer Ape Escape 4. Actually, I don't think Ape Escape 3 was out at the time. Oh, lovely. Lovely chain reaction there. Oh, fucking... I could play... I could play the fan favorite Lord of the Rings The Two Towers video game. That's like, everyone loves that. That's like, everyone fucking loves that shit. In fact, that's definitely going to be 
a July Mia Mafava. I gotta think of a good name for that, because Mia Mafava is just fun to say. Would July to do, would Ju July would July to me? <laughs> okay, yeah. to worry about waiting for the door and it'll be there. Oh. Something to do with July and video making that also sounds good as an acronym. It's like, does that can, po can possible? Can possible. Gia... Giamia Ma Giamia Mafva Giamia Mafva Giamia Mafva sounds good, so what would that be? July actually might July I'll actually maybe I I'll actually that yeah, doesn't work. Because obviously I'm, I'm copying Nate's thing of me and Mafava. But then maybe people in my YouTube subscription feed, my subscribers, maybe they not all not... Can you jump on top of that? Jesus Christ. Very strange snake. could play. Although it would be kind of long. I don't know whether streaming an RPG is a good idea, actually. July is a month I'll actually make a fucking video. Hmm. July I'll, July I'll actually maybe ignobly attempt making a fucking video. Eh. <laughs> uh. How about July suck? Dick. Jizzed. No wait, July suck. Jizz. That's good. <laughs> oh, Dingo Dial. I like you. I'll kill you before the end of the stream. I was thinking of, uh, just then playing, um, what RPG am I thinking of? Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King, because I love that. And it's not really a game I would play for GRPJ because I already know it, you know? But that's a good fucking fun time. It's just a really, you know, like most RPGs, really long and very tedious to look at. But maybe if I have, like, something to talk about. Yeah, but I can't imagine... An RPG of a grand scale could be good for streaming. What I don't understand about this this zone and that enemy is that these guys are people. You know, they're Dr. Cortex's scientists dressing up. What the fuck was that? But this guy's just a monkey. Like, there's not really a consistent theme there. Just that guy holding pots is a monkey. There's no other way to describe it. He is a monkey. I can't get a good look at him from here, but you know what I mean. Look at that. It, it broke that barrel. Uh, 
crate all the way over there. Love that shit. Oh, I should have. I should have attacked. I don't know whether that does anything. Oh, it does. It does do something. There we go. Ooh. Look at that face. Ooh. You ever played off? Off is only about six hours long. Shit. Damn it. Maybe I can get those. Oh, they're taunting me by making those things. So I can't not. I can't wait around. Ah, but I got them anyway. I will fucking show them. That's how you do it. Twenty out of twenty. Off is about six hours long. Not a very light-hearted game, though. You know, if it's only about six hours long, People have recommended that for me to do for GRPJ. And if it's only six hours long, or like, you know, relatively short for an RPG, and I could stream it, and then I could use that footage for the fucking GRPJ. That could be a thing. I don't have like a GRPJ in the works anymore, so that's definitely something I want to do. You. Did I come back to before I beat the bonus level? Do I have to do it again? I don't want to do it again. Okay, I don't have to do it again. Thank God. Thank God I don't have to have that fun bonus level to do. collecting a large amount of fruit. It's one of my favorite things to do. Whoa, nitro. Why did I walk away? That would have killed me. Oh, fuck off. Did you ever play Hylix? No. Look, look, yo, he's, he's a monkey. I mean, maybe he's got sideburns, but that's just a very strangely different from everyone else enemy. Get that. Oh, missed one. You've seen good RPG streams before? Well, maybe it's possible. All you need to do is stock up on tickets and use the highest damaging skills. Hylix? I don't know whether Hylix is that one. Maybe it is. Oh, Midnight Row. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm tired. Well, after this and after the boss, that's the end of the stream. I beat Rayman 2 and I played a fucking good old 
good old classic. For good old measure. Look at that Chinaman. Day is... Oops. Missed. Oh, such whimsy sounds. Wow. I like uh, Crash Bandicoot. And this is the third game in the series, that's what I say. That's what I say, I'm the, the Crash Bandicoot Taylor. I love Crash Bandicoot on oh, FL. More like Coco Bandicoot, if you know what I do not mean. Tiger. Oh, oh, oh. I'm I'm good. All right, here we go. The funnest boss, probably. No, yeah, he is the funnest boss. First game feels first boss in this game feels a little bit, a little bit rando, a little bit chanceful for this one. He has a pattern, you can study it, you can perfect fighting it. And it's great. Oh, he's back with pizza. I'm not sure I'm going to be streaming for much longer, so uh, uh, good thing you came back to watch Dingo Dial. Everybody loves Dingo Dial. Ooh. God ill. Yeah, it's a very satisfying. These crystals are so good. Maybe even the goodest. Alright, just gotta make sure that he. He is scaleless. Oh no, wait! He's got a fucking. Phew. Oh, ooh, ooh, that nearly got me. Let's thrash. 
first. I wonder if there are challenge runs of this where you can only, you can only, like let him fire once before you hit him, and then you have to get out of the, the thing. Double jump! Oh my God! It's impossible! How do you do that? How does one do that? All right, I'm tired, and thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, fucking video games. Thank you, Rayman Two, for being good. Thank you, Crash Bandicoot Three, for being good. Also, thank you. Um, the yeah. Have a good one. Have a good bye. Come back. Um, oh, that was a loud clap. Come back. Uh, just come back. Oh my god! Subscribe to the Twitch. I will be uh, maybe doing Minecraft with the guys on Friday. That'll be a good time to do it. I'll talk up to them about it. I want to do Minecraft again. That was fun. The last times it was that we did it. Alright, see ya.